for streets safe for our residents. One more hand for our sheriffs and our fire department here today. Reliance on general fund reserves. The city has relied on the use of general fund reserves to balance the budget for the last couple of years. Since 2010, not just this year, since 2010, general fund reserve balance has dropped 62%. This year, the general fund balance just met the city's reserve policy, leaving no reserves available for use. That's our financial situation, folks, today. Response to challenges. This city council well works leaves, along with our staff, along with our employees, and these are the things of how we're meeting these challenges today. We eliminated and froze vacant positions. We applied fertile days. A big, big thank you to our city staff for stepping up to the plate because via those three fertile days, via the fact that we froze every position that was vacant and we didn't feel, and we, we eliminated, we were able to save every single staff member and the city staff today so that our services continue to be provided to our community. So this council saved every single current employee in the city of Linwood. It was not easy, but we did it. We kicked off. Next, our biggest challenge was a statewide drought. As you all remembered, Governor da not Davis, <laughs> Governor Brown mandated a 25% uh, mandated in the state of California. Linwood's part was 16%. I'm proud to report to all of you that the city of Linwood has met its 16% mandated by the governor, not only once, but a couple of months already. So we are complying with the state mandate. I can't thank our residents enough for making sure that we save water. The city has specifically cut the reduction of watering our median, so we have received some complaints from residents, but it's to save water in the, in the city of Inwood. We've made other targets, and I want to thank the community for only watering your grass on Monday and Thursdays. Besides the state, the, the drought that we've had in the city of Linwood, public safety. Crime has decreased in the city of Linwood by almost 10%. The city's council's top priority, again, is public safety. We advanced the video surveillance program at Linear Park. We added three more cameras that the sheriffs get to view on a daily basis. I visited the sheriff's station. They have cameras that monitor not only our new park, Long Beach Boulevard and other parts of the community. So we've invested in more cameras to make sure that our city is safe. Next, we have our K-9 patrol dog. His name is Chase. And, it, and Chase was named by our school district. We have school board members here. It was, our, our Chase was named um, after our student competition that we had in the city of Linwood. Chase's top priority is to locate narc narc narcotics. Besides narcotics, he joins a K-9 dog named Max. Max was trained to locate guns in the city of Linwood. So collectively, Max and Chase visit our schools. And again, I can't thank our school board members enough. Alfonso Morales is in the audience. Griselda Gonzalez, Gary Hardy, and board president Maria Lopez is in the audience. I want to thank them for their support in their community. And of course, Alma Renteria is here too. And with their partnership, we've been able to make sure our schools and our community are safer. Animal control. How many of you are, are animal pet lovers in the, in the city? Yeah. Raise your hand. You have cute little cats, cute little dogs. Well, the response time from the county was not the best. So the city of Linwood brought in the animal control services to the city of Linwood. So far, we've been able to resolve 831 animal-related requests, license over 800 animals in-house, and we conducted four animal vaccination clinics resulting in over 300 vaccinated animals in the city of Linwood. So give our team that does the animal control, give them a hand, please. <laughs> customer service. Who here does not like to go to a restaurant and receive the best customer service? Of course, we love our food too. We want our best, our best meal. Right, Mario? Don't you love your food? You haven't finished your food, by the way. We love our food. We love our customer service. In Linwood, we're striving to have a better customer service. So when our residents do call the city of Linwood, they get the best service they can. I know that Jackie and Ramon Galindo are the most popular people in Linwood. See, Santiago believes she's the most popular, but she really isn't. It's Ramon Galindo and Jackie that are the most popular when they receive all those complaints. Give them a big hand for all their work, please. So far, we've had 5,940 city service requests through walk-ins, phone calls, and internet requests, and those many emails that Salvador Torres sends to staff all the time, requesting all those streets to be picked up, the trash, <laughs> Edward Hernandez bothering me at 
2 in the morning saying that there's problems on such street. So thank you, council members, for continuously calling our city staff and your mayor at 2 in the morning to report problems. <laughs> Transportation. How many of you in Linwood, again, wooded in Linwood, remember the trolley? This council invested in three more trolleys in the city of Linwood. We were very proud when we brought them. When I rode the trolley, I was at Hostler Middle School. We called them actually junior high school then. I rode it for 25 cents. Today, it's still 25 cents. So that's great for our community because public transportation, my mom doesn't drive, she doesn't drive. We always drove the bus. And I would go from Hostler to take the trolley all the time. And my mom gave me that quarter, bless her heart. She gave me that quarter and I rode that bus. Community and recreation in the city of Linwood. One of the most active departments in the city of Linwood. So far, we've had 50 recreation programs, 20 citywide special events, which brought over 750,000 people in the city of Linwood. We've had our annual Candy Cane Christmas Parade. We've had our 4th of July event this year. One of the most spectacular and fun events, the Gospel Brunch, hosted by Senator Ricardo Lara, the Bingo Club, and a lot of our great seniors that made that happen every year. We had our second annual Juneteenth Festival that year, this year. Next, we had the Women's History Month Conference Symposium. I want to acknowledge, specifically acknowledge, Mayor Pro Tem Santiambeas for her continuous support in that event. It's important that we value, not only support, but we value women in the city. The city of Linwood, this issue, it can happen in other places. Those candidates that are running for office might not respect women, but in Linwood, we respect women. So thank you, Santiambeas, for your continuous support of, of, of that support. Next, we have a celebration of special needs in Linwood. In Linwood, we celebrate the last Sunday of every, every February. We have a celebration to celebrate not only our kids, but our community and our special needs. And we have an amazing event where we have all walks of life that come here in this exact room. We have music, we have clowns. It's an, an exact, a perfect event. So if any of you say, I have nothing to be involved in Linwood, come the last Sunday of February and give your time to that event. Your heart will be filled with joy. I promise you. Our youth softball program opening day was a success this year. We have many teams. This year we were honored to have Dodger Matt Luke. On that note, what is the score of the Dodgers? What is it, Mr. Morales? 3 2 losing. Uh, bad timing on the question, oh, no. but thank you. <laughs> but it's part of my program. Next, we brought back the Cesar Chavez Day celebration. I can't thank enough the committee that put that together. We were honored this year to have the knees of Cesar Chavez with us today. Marilena Chavez, she was uh, given the key to the city that day for her honor of being here the day of his of the celebration. In Linwood, we continue to have Movies in the Park, one of the most successful events in the city of Linwood, Movies in the Park. We have over 400 kids that come and their families and watch that program. Even the sheriffs show up and give popsicles. I mean, you know, the, the very friendly guys, they come and give popsicles. So thank you again for that support. Next is the Healthy Cities Initiative. Well, I have to admit, I tried year after year, it hasn't worked out, I'm still your fluffy mayor, so I do apologize, and it's not Chico's Pizza, but there's a lot of components that happen, but we want to thank everyone that has participated in the third annual Farmer's Market Street Fair, the fifth annual Weight Loss Challenge, the third annual 5K Run Walk, and our Relay for Life. Next, we all complain about how our city looks sometimes. Well, it takes bodies to show up on weekends and help keep our city clean. Through the Keep Clean Keep Lingo Clean campaign, we had four events this year at Lincoln Elementary, at Firewall High School, at the Lingwood City Park, and between Bel uh, Butler and Bellinger, where we hosted citywide events to have a Keep Lingo Clean campaign. Many of the calls that we receive is the, the illegal dumping of mattresses, couches, TVs, and Lord knows I get so upset when I see that, just like you do. I want to thank everyone that has been part of this. We've collected over 5,000 tons this year so far. 5,000 tons of those ugly, ugly couches, mattresses that everyone, and all you have to do is call the trash company and they'll pick it up within 24 hours, folks. Please help us keep Lingua clean. Next, we removed 780,000 square feet of graffiti. We see it all the time. And thank you all of you for keep, that keep calling but again, Ramon and Jackie to report the graffiti. It keeps happening. Thank you for helping us keep Lingwood clean. In our business development, we are proud to say that we have 2,300 businesses in the city of Lingwood. 
Out of those 2,318 to be exact, 219 are new businesses. I want to thank our business license department for the great work that they do every day to keep our businesses active and engaged. Specifically, for those of you who know me, I was very engaged in making sure that we have a Jamba Juice in Linwood, very, very proud of that, because I've always said, if other communities can have it, why can't Linwood have it? And Jamba Juice is in Linwood. I encourage you to support those local businesses so they, they remain in our community. We have Ochi's Shape and Ice and Boba. We have Wobble Grill. And for those of you that want to do some exercise, we have H-Fit Hardcore Fitness. I want to personally thank Edwin Hernandez, our council member, that is very a big advocate of businesses in our community. He's been a champion and he's helped me with all these different events to make sure we bring them to Linwood. So thank you, council member Edwin Hernandez, for that. Improvements and projects. Oh Lord, let me let me let me take my seat right now. <laughs> There's been streets in this community that have not been addressed for decades. So one day someone tells me, what have you guys done? I said, I've been on city council two years, folks. Not an excuse, but two years. We've had some of these streets that for decades have not been addressed. It's embarrassing that we drive through these streets. This year council invested four point six million dollars. So that's the reality. We are investing money. Bradfield is one of the, was one of the worst streets. It's now fixed by Linwood Middle School. I encourage you all to go visit. We have other streets around in the, in the works, and they will be uh, done as we speak, which is Virginia, Josephine, Linden, Elmwood, some of the worst streets that we have in Linwood. I know we have others, but we'll keep working on those streets. But again, we invested 4.6 of Measure R funds this year to we address the streets. When you walked in today, it was a little surprise. Thank our staff that was here to two in the morning on Tuesday night. We're, two in the morning, I understand that some of the people that were working on that project. We have a little pocket park in front. That's a new, a new addition to our city. It'll be good because this hall where you're sitting at today is rented for weddings, for quinceañeras. So as people rent this hall, it'll be more attractive for people to rent. So that was definitely a priority to make sure that our facility is definitely good to, to be able to rent it out. Park renovations. We know that our park needed help. Our baseball fields were renovated this year. Our tennis courts, for the, I know Mr. Pygett, Dr. Pygett, goes and plays at that tennis courts. I know that you're very happy now that those tennis courts are renovated. We have new trash cans. It looks really nice. Our outdoor basketball courts. Folks, it cost us $2,000 to fix the back, uh, backboard of the, tennis, of the basketball courts. The kids are very, very happy that we finally did that. And for those of you, one of the biggest success programs that we have in Linwood is the nat natatorium, the swimming pool. We invested a lot of money and we're furnishing that swimming pool. The outdoors, there was, there was patched existing leaks, replaced handrails, and fire extinguisher cabinets. A couple of things that um, happened this year is, you know, why are we rooted in Linwood? Because we're, we're full of traditions in Linwood. We're full of things that have happened. One of the best programs when I met Mr. Rodriguez at the time was the Mr. and Ms. Linwood competition. The Chamber of Commerce was very, very active with the Mr. and Ms. Linwood competition. For the last 10 years, we haven't had it. And I said that when I became mayor, we would bring that back. So this month, we're going to have back the Mr. and Ms. Linwood competition. It's a Scottish competition, because Lord knows Alfonso Morales would have never won Mr. Linwood in 1996 if it was a beauty pageant. <laughs> right, Mr. Morales? So it definitely was a scholarship competition, which that scholarship helped to become an attorney. And he's now a proud alum that's an attorney in our community. Thankfully, thankfully, it was not a beauty passion. So, Ms. Morales, thank you for participating in that. But we're bringing that tradition back to our community. And let me take a couple of seconds on this one. I was in the sixth grade. I'm going to tell you a quick 30-second story. I was in the sixth grade. Mr. Louis Vido at Limburg Elementary School gave three students, one, one, one of those students being myself, an application to go to an upper bound program at Cal State Long Beach. I was a sixth grader going to a Cal State Long Beach campus for six weeks. My dad would drop me off at the school district. The yellow bus would drop us off for six weeks. I thought I was a cool kid walking on campus. I visited, of course, the food court, because I had to make sure I visited the food court, and the jelly bean station. I still remember that vivid memory. And that's because a sixth grade teacher saw something in me that exposed me to that opportunity. When I became mayor, I said, what can I do to share my mayorship with youth? What can I do? And I started a kid mayor program, one of the only ones, I think, in our, only, our nation to have a kid mayor program. And so I figured we have 12 months in the year, we have 12 elementary schools in Linwood, and I'll be mayor for 12 months. So perfect. I picked 12 elementary school teachers. Those teachers saw something in these kids, and you saw them earlier today, they're walking around. They're very proud, because they all wanted to come to the stage. I reminded them, this is about the real mayor right now, not them. 
but they're great mayors. They love it, they have their badge on, and it, it, it builds a sense of pride and ownership of who they are. And these teachers saw something in those kids that gave them this opportunity to be a kid mayor. For a whole month, they get to go to events, their parents bring them, I give them the mic, they have the opportunity to speak, and they are included in the city government process. And I wanted to share that same experience that my sixth grade teacher gave me to give our, our kids. And this year in our parade, they're going to be all in the parade. They're very excited to be part of the parade. So give our kid mayors a quick hand. We continue the uh, senior coffee meetings that uh, our former mayor started. Those were really fun. Uh, we started Wobble Grill on Wednesdays. And projects that happen in our community included, uh, projects that are happening now is Los Flores. And I want to personally thank uh, Councilmember La Torre for being part of the vision of making sure that Los Flores is addressed. And today, as we speak, Los Flores is being addressed by Lincoln Elementary School because he had a vision. But I told him, I thought, well, I'm gonna get it done. You had a vision, but I'm gonna get it done. <laughs> so I gave him a hard time because he had that vision and I want to acknowledge him for, for supporting me and, and making sure that we both worked on making sure Los Flores is addressed. So thank you, Councilman Maladore, for making sure that happens. And, you know, there's things that are gonna happen. I think all the former mayors here today, former mayors and future mayors, you know, we have a whole year to do this, and we have this whole vision that we want to solve all the problems in the city in one year. Well, I think we all came to realization that one year is not enough. <laughs> but on that note, we started projects this year that next year's mayor will be up here showing off all the great work that he or she is doing because we're doing the Ham Park Community Center that we already approved this year, and we're doing the Bayman Hall. Finally, we're moving with the expansion of Bayman Hall, and hopefully uh, next year we'll be in construction. So I just want to give you a heads up of things that are happening. Again, there's street improvement projects. We'll have a new city website, because how many of you have visited that website? It's a little complicated. It's not very user friendly. We're going to have a new website that's going to be more resident friendly to our residents, be able to use it more, uh, more accessible. So I'm very happy that in January of 2016, we're going to launch that website. And hopefully we'll have a lot of our social media activa act activated in that website. Folks, thank you for the opportunity. I am blessed, I am honored to be your mayor. I am happy that I am rooted in this community. Just like our young little roots, our kid mayors are here today. Our senior, former mayors, they have a, long, a lot of years of being established in this community, of having roots in this community. And we look forward to continuing having a council that are committed to our community and elected officials. I'm very proud, and I want to conclude my address by saying that we all grow in different directions, but we remain rooted in language. Thank you so much. And of course, it wouldn't be a Salache event if it was not Chico's Pizza involved. So we acknowledge them already for being the business of the year. Um, there's the staff that's walking out with Chico's Pizza boxes. Don't get too excited. They're not full of pizza yet. But, but they're passing them out to all the tables. There's one per table. Chico's Pizza donated 38 boxes, and each table is getting one. Each table is getting one, and the person, just like when you go to a party, who gets the centerpiece, the person, this is the honor system, the person that has the closest birthday to the mayor's birthday, which is September 10th, will get that, that free pizza. So amongst your table, there's only eight of you on the table. It's not that complicated, folks. The person that has the closest birthday to September 10th will get the pizza donated by Chico's Pizza. <laughs> Inside the box, you see the screen, there's a... If you see that screen, there's a certificate, and it shows a certificate that you'll claim your free pizza at Chico's Pizza. Ladies and gentlemen, that concludes our speech for today. Thank you so much, have a great evening, and I hope you enjoyed it tonight. Have a good night. I'm a boy, I'm a boy. 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 I'